Surf Church Sunday. A little after two. It looks okay in some places and bad in others. We got a storm here. It's not in this particular section of the beach. But we're getting ready to head out. An update. I made a little modification in these yesterday when I got back from the beach. I cut this little corner out right here. So I went ahead and did the same thing to the other side. And here's why. That little spot right there, that's for two days. So that won't happen anymore because it's gone. I cut that piece away. If I go to the other foot, you can see it's just a little teeny bit right there but no other place on my feet anywhere just those two little spots that would have been right about there and right about there but just I have eliminated them so we'll give them a spin today and see how they go other than that these bad boys are nice comfortable I mean super comfortable as far as the walking park goes and uh, like I said I got slits cut in them here these are factory slits I added that to the factory slit and the same thing on this side. And I haven't had any trouble with shells hanging in them. They wash right out. I enlarged those holes at the top. But the shells wash out like rockets. No shells, no sand. That part is great. Plus, like I said, the comfort. I got to change headphones today. I got to put my earbuds on. I got a little break in this wire right here. And it's been broke for a week. But it don't, I can move it around and it locks in place like that or something and it works all day. But it's getting worse and worse so I'm going to, I'm going to change them now before I go. Stand by for the Land of Nada, Surf Church Sunday. Hey, I got my module in a waterproof bag. My earbuds. I'm closed up on that end and I put these over top of my ears so I can hear. At the beach, over the earbuds, the waves are terrible. Earbuds are good, but this will knock out all the sound and keep the earbuds in place to a degree. Stand by. One of my YouTubers did say put Almorol on them, so I just give them a shot of Almorol right there too. Cause it went everywhere. My feet will be slipping in and out of them. We've had a few showers, nothing heavy, just some sp sprinkles. We've had a uh, I forgot what I was going to say now. The ring man, Mumbles man. Here we go, Surf Church Sunday, Land of Nada. Two quarters of dime and a piece of bling. Ringman's got an automobile, a little flag pendant, and some chains. Over where the, the bigger waves are, probably. Between there? here to there? Nah, it wasn't out very far. And how long? An hour or so ago? Yeah. five or six of us down here today what? so make sure you ask everybody okay yeah somebody might find it because it'll be here but you're gonna be here a couple days it's all right it's not like that if you, if you found it it would have been funny i got it in mexico so it's not like a right that might be it right there yeah. he's got something there huh <laughs> could be and mr stanley get a report from mr stanley he got today. He's got a, a pendant of some sort and an automobile and a little bit of change. I got a bling bracelet and a couple of quarters and some dimes. We're good. Where'd y'all put in? How you making that? Anything hanging there? You what? Got anything hanging? No, no. It wasn't like mine. Nothing hanging. I got you. <laughs> no, it's empty. 
Don't put it in 27. That, yeah, right there. No, right there at holiday. A bit late, I had some honeydews. Anybody else now? I don't know. I saw, uh, I don't know what the guy's name is. I think it's the bow legged guy. Are you showing off your ring? I don't have a ring I to see show. You're pulling up your shirt. That's to show that there's nothing there. Oh, yeah. But if y'all left anything, I might find it. stretch right here has been as bleak as I ever seen it. Not hardly a penny, anything. Four blocks. Can't, it's hard to believe. In and out, we've been hunting. Stand by. I know what I forgot to tell you. Doc Beaver, he hunted, uh, Last night, from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. this morning, in the land of Nada. He got uh, three rings, one blinger, one tungsten, and one 14K channel with ice in it. And a lot of other targets. They had a three ring morning. I'll send the pictures at the end, so you can see Nice looking ticket too, that one with the ice in it. Stand by. I'm home from the land of Nada. The left croc seems to be fine. I don't know if it's my right foot is bigger than my left foot, which it probably is because my right hand's much bigger than my left hand. All my fingers are bigger, my arm is bigger. But right there, day three was a disaster. That's from yesterday. This is from today. I moved that, you know, I cut that place off so it didn't scrape that at all, but that piece right there is not very nice. So, I'm afraid if I cut any more off of this baby, it'll weaken it up. But I am going to cut a scallop place out of that and cut it on a on a 45 on this side right here and give them another try. And if they don't work out too well, I'll just keep them and use them on the bay in those big rocks and all. It'll work fine in those rocks. That's what I was hoping they would be great for both places, but apparently all that sand and that grit and just uh, 
isn't the ideal thing. Now, like I said, don't they don't get any sand or anything inside. It just rubs on your foot. It'll be worse looking tomorrow, but it's not a sore like it was for two days. But like I said, I got rid of that spot. Just this one spot right here. But this foot, okay, it's perfect. Oh well. Drawing board number three. Stand by. Exercise for me. Land of Nada, Surf Church. I'm going to take a break from Nada for a day or so. I've been there for four or five days and the screaming and the hollering is taking a toll on me. I have to go to the bay and rest my ears. See you tomorrow. Good luck to everybody. We have company. Jack's buddy. He's spending the night with him. Big ol' Hank. <laughs>